What can I say? What can I say that hasn't already been said? This lure just, it works. Got him. Good fish. All right, people. Summer is hopefully reaching its peak in my area. I, it's about quarter to 11 and it's already 90 degrees out. I've been sweating like a pig for like the last hour already just getting out here. But um, we're still going to try to fish for a few hours, you know. I think the high today is supposed to be 95, but I think it's probably going to get hotter than that just based on the temperature that it already is now. You know, we could see upper 90s, maybe even triple digits today. Definitely heat index probably approaching triple digits. And you know, when it gets that hot, it can make the fishing a little difficult. Um, you know, you know the water starts heating up and um, warmer water can't hold as much dissolved oxygen. So that puts a little bit of stress on the fish, makes them a little less active. You know, they're going to be, um, they definitely still need to feed because their metabolism is running high in these high temperatures. But um, they're also going to be trying to uh, be focused on staying cool, you know, conserving energy. So they're probably, they're usually, you know, at least with bass, especially, I feel like they're, they, they generally tend to be a little more sluggish when it's hot out. Uh, we are out here. at uh well this is the lake where i i first shot my first video back in like the late winter um trying to eliminate any uh variables any uncertainties that are going to reduce our chance of catching a fish today with it being this hot you know want to want to be a, make, make sure this is a worthwhile trip so i'm at a familiar spot and i'm going to be using a lure today that has been very effective here in the past and I'm really going to try to make this a bit of a, an instructional video and the, the lure that I'm talking about you know you've seen me fish it uh, a few times before is um, jig spinner or um, what most people will call it a beetle spin that's kind of the most popular brand um, but that's going to be the focus of today's video so hey you never know until you throw so, let's go. All right, people. So this is the Johnson Beetle Spin. This is the one eighth ounce size. This is, uh, you know, honestly, if you're, unless you're pretty new to fishing, you've probably heard of this lure. It's pretty, it's a very popular lure. It's just this little wire arm with a Colorado blade attached to one end basically a small uh spinner bait like a finesse spinner bait um and they're very popular you know you can, you, they're very cheap as well you can get these lures at you know walmart for less than a dollar it usually comes with you know this setup right here and then maybe two other soft plastic bodies i really pref you know there's a ton of different colors so if there's a certain forage species or something that you're trying to match you can usually find a color that will do so. I tend to prefer a black uh, beetle spin when I go for that um, that model. So like this black with yellow stripes is probably the one I've used the most. There's also another one with like some red on it that I like as well. So why are these lures so popular? You know, they're kind of small. They don't look like much. Um, but the reason they're popular, I think it comes down to two reasons. Um, one, they're very easy to use, and two, they just are flat out fish catchers, you know. It's easy to get into debates about, you know, which lure is best or, and you know, I feel like you hear a lot of, you know, people out there who, who like to kind of give advice on fishing, you know, they'll talk about a certain technique and they'll just say, oh, well, it catches numbers of fish and it catches big fish. The vast majority of lures on the market in the right circumstance are going to catch fish. 
but I do believe that um, there are some lures that work better uh, than others, and I think these jig spinners, the beetle spin, uh, is one of them. You know, also it has that wire, that spinner wire, and just like a regular spinner bait, that makes this lure somewhat uh, snag resistant. You know, you'd have this wire covering the hook, so you can put it in, um, you know, make some tricky casts with it, and have a decent chance of, of getting it back out. And even if you do snag it, it's only like a 80 to 80 cents to a $1 lure, so it's not like it's breaking the bank. And you know, a lot of this comes down to, you know, what do you catch on this on this lure? Wow, I just saw a bass jump just now. I think they're keyed in on on uh, insects or something. But um you know, what yeah, what what does this lure catch? And the answer is it can catch just about any species of fish. People talk about, you know, oh, what's the best lure for bass? This maybe isn't the best bass lure, though it does catch bass in no large numbers. It's probably what I catch on it the most. I've caught bass up to three pounds on um, that lure that I was just showing you. But you can catch um, a variety of panfish on it. You know, sunfish, species will hit it, bluegill. I mean, I caught that saw guy on a jig spinner a few videos back. I've caught uh, catfish species on it, you know, uh, bullheads friend of mine caught chain pickerel on it I've caught a bowfin on it so really any kind of predatory fish can potentially respond to this lure so you know when I'm in one of those moods where I just I'm not really interested in experimenting I just want to get out catch a few fish call it a day like today it's one of those go-to lures that I, I will try because I just have a I think like I have a, a higher percentage you know a higher chance of getting something to bite casting this lure now this lure comes in a variety of different sizes uh, i tend to use the 1 8 ounce the most but i also like to keep a smaller one on hand for ultralight fishing um, and here it is down here this is actually a, a different brand this is the bets spin so this is a slightly uh, different brand, but same colorway. I like that color still. Um, this is one thirty-second ounce, so quite a bit smaller. But um, it's a great lure to cast in creeks. You know, um, if you're just targeting those smaller fish, smaller waters. I mean, I caught a, a redfin pickerel on this thing, and a flyer earlier this year as well. If you were watching some of the early, earlier videos, you would have seen that too. You know, one of the key advantages of this um, lure is the, uh, you know, the clip on the wire here. You can see this, this clip basically secures a jig head and plastic um, to the spinner wire. And you can very easily swap out the jig, swap out your plastic, and get different colors, different presentations to match the conditions or the forage that you're trying to imitate. So... What I'm actually going to do right now is uh, re-rig this with a different plastic. So I'll uh, going to do that real quickly, and then I'll I'll show you exactly what I mean. All right, guys, this is probably the bait we're going to start off with today. A little bit different looking. I swapped out the um, beetle spin body with this uh, little swim bait here. This is the Z-Man Slim Swims uh, two and a half inch size. This color is green pumpkin, one eighth ounce jig head still. Um, but yeah, you know, you can just get different actions, different looks by swapping out the plastic. You, know, you can put a, a curl tail on here, a straight tail, a swim bait. And um, you know that the beetle spin body is kind of, you know, it doesn't look like much. Um, but it does kind of have a, an action of its own. It tends to kind of swing underneath the um, spinner from side to side a little bit. So it's a little more effective than you might think. But I like having the versatility of trying different plastics underneath this uh, little wire here. So enough uh, chit-chatting, enough yapping. I'm going to go ahead and get in the water. I'm burning up. I need to start fishing before... My camera overheats before I overheat. And we'll see if we can um, make any catches with this. We are out here at the lake. Got rigged up here. 
Well, you might be wondering what kind of gear do I fish this the jig spinner on and I uh, fish it on spinning gear. Uh, my medium um, casts it pretty well. This is a six foot six two piece medium rod. So a little bit different from the one that I usually use, but um, cast very well on a medium setup. You can cast it, you know, this one eighth ounce size, you can cast it on a, um, anything down to ultralight, really. I uh, fish this, this on the ultralight. It's one of the few lures that I will fish on the medium and the ultralight. Well, I see a bass right now. Um, not half bad sized. This water is very clear. It's very weedy. So that's really what we're going to probably be casting to the most is just those weedy patches. You know, the fish are going to be hiding under that when they can out here today. They're also going to be tight to the bank, the shade on the bank. Ooh, look at that. These fish are fired up trying to chase insects. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start casting here. I'm seeing a lot of activity, which is a good sign. Another decent bass just kind of looking at me, waiting for me to make a cast. There's a fish. Oh, there was a fish. Didn't quite get hooked. Not good, people. Not good. All right, big bass, uh, you know, I just reeled the lure past him multiple times and he was not interested. Here we go. It's a little fish. All right, first fish of the day is a small, large mouth. That was our first cast really to like a shady area. And we finally got a fish to bite. He's probably about six inches. Little largemouth bass, pretty healthy looking. Um, you know, this is definitely not um, a big fish lure, the jig spinner for the most part. Not that you can't catch big fish on, I certainly have, but um, anyway. First fish of the day here. Healthy little largemouth. Thanks for biting, fish. Appreciate you. Send you back. All right, people, cast into the shade. It's able to get us a fish. Maybe they just, with this, you know, they need something that they can. Something to obscure their vision a little bit. There we go. Good one. Oh, no. And I don't know what it is about this place, but the fish are hard to hard to keep hooked. We were doing a faster retrieve there, which might be important in this clearer water. The camera's burning up, of course. Shame we didn't land that one. That was a nice fish. Here's a fish. Stay hooked, please. It's not very big. All right, guys, fish number two. He's a little bit bigger. Definitely not as big as the one that we missed, though. 
Check that out, people. Bass number two out here. Probably nine inches. Went for that jig spinner. Finally got another one. It's been a little tricky. Sometimes this place is tricky. You know, you can catch some fish, but you often lose as many as you catch. But anyway, another summer bass out here on this hot day. Thanks for buying fish. I appreciate you. All right, this looks like a deeper pool right here. And this will be a better spot. There's a fish. They've all been pretty small bass so far. I've seen some big bass, but the ones that we've actually managed to land so far are quite small. I guess I'll get a picture of one today. We are using that Slim Swims, which we don't use too often, so this guy's probably Eight and a half, similar to that last one. You know, a jig spinner is one of those lures that, you know, if I'm taking someone fishing that doesn't really fish very often, this is probably usually often the first lure I'll tell them to try because it's simple to use and you have a decent chance of catching a fish on it. Got him. Good fish. Oh, stay hooked. Stay hooked, buddy. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. All right. Please stay hooked. Please stay hooked, fish. Oh, that's our first decent one of the day. If you can keep him hooked. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, people. Oh, that's more like it. That's much more like it. Check this one out, guys. That's a beautiful fish. Maybe a pound, pound and a half, probably 15 inches. Kind of not super fat or anything, but I think we were see. I think I saw this fish swim by, and I just started speeding up and you know moving it more erratically, make it look a little more frightened. And then I paused it and let it sink, and I saw him. You know, I saw him following it, so I gave it a pause and let it drop, and he. He just engulfed it, and then we set the hook, and it was game over, guys. Beautiful largemouth bass here. So, you know, this lure can catch nice fish. It's not just a little panfish lure or a crappy lure. I think that's what a lot of people think when they hear Battle Beetle Spin or they think, think it's a kid's lure. Um, it's not. It works. And this beautiful bass here is the proof. I'm gonna get a picture of this fish and send him on his way. Beautiful fish out here. Easily the best one of the day. Excellent. Well, that fish escaped us. He just shook really hard. I actually got my hand bleeding a little bit. Um, you know, these fish are high metabolism. They're high energy right now and he just shook out of my hand. And yeah, drew a little blood there. But still, that was by far the best fish we've caught so far today. Let's see if we can Catch a few more like that. I think I'm gonna try to retrieve this a little more erratically than I usually do, because that fish hit it, you know, I was reeling it pretty fast and then pausing. There's a fish, another good one. Don't jump, don't you jump. Okay, not quite as big as the last one. Got you, buddy. All right. <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't many casts later. I don't think I had my camera adjusted um, the best angle for that catch, but let's get this guy unhooked. He's not quite as big as that last one, but we're getting into some fish now. Look at that, people. About a 13 incher. Beautiful bass. 
Let's get a, let's actually try to get a picture of this one and send it back a little bit darker than that last fish. Very nice. What can I say? What can I say that hasn't already been said? This lure just, it works. All right, nice bass here at the lake, at the clear, weedy, shallow lake. See you, buddy. There's a fish. I think he's off. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. Good one. Good fish, guys. Very nice. The jig spinner, baby. Getting them. All right. That's what we're talking about, people. Another nice bass. Hit the jig spinner. There we go. Got our hook out. Check them out, people. Beautiful large mouth here. Unlike a lot of the fish in this lake, it doesn't have a very distinctive lateral line band. Interesting how largemouth can vary so much in their appearance. It's about a 13, 14 incher. All right, guys, one last look at this fish. Beautiful largemouth here on the old jig spinner. Doing work with that lure today. Appreciate your fish. Thank you so much. I think I'm gonna call this video. You know, we went out here, it's hot. It's a hot summer day to one of our trusted spots. And we showed you how to fish a jig spinner. Um, today we were using that Z-Man Slim Swims as a trailer. And you know, we started off catching just a few small fish, a few small bass. We missed a couple as well. But um, we ended up landing some nice fish there on that lure at the end. You know, as we kind of got uh, into our groove there, we, were, we had to kind of uh, learn a few things. You know, the basic retriever of that lure is very simple. You just wind it back to you, slow and steady. You can give it a little pop with the rod tip every now and then if you want. Sometimes I can provoke those fish to react. And you know, today I was kind of, you know, at first I was like, hmm, maybe this isn't going to work. But you can fish spinner baits in clear water under certain conditions, and we were able to kind of adapt here, you know, we, we started speeding up our retrieve, making it a little more erratic, pausing, twitching a little more, changing our speed, and we landed some nice largemouth bass on that little lure. So, um, yeah, you know, if you're uh, new to fishing, or really if you just fish at all and you haven't tried one of these uh, handy and inexpensive, snag-resistant little lures, um, you really you're missing out you're missing some fish you're missing an easy enjoyable way to catch some nice fish it can catch any species it can work in clear water it can work in muddy water I think you know speeding up the retrieve in clear water kind of makes sense because you kind of want the fish to get not not get as good of a look at the lure because a spinnerbait is not the most natural looking um, lure in the world you know if a fish is just staring at it sees that wire and that thing flashing above you know sometimes if it's super clear it just doesn't look that realistic but you know speeding up the retrieve pausing it jerking it twitching it um being a little more erratic helped us catch some nicer fish good under a variety of conditions so i don't know what you're waiting for go out and pick up some jig spinners today and you don't necessarily have to go and get a beetle spin you know you can go and get just the spinner wires you can just order a pack of those wires i think bass pro shops has some and uh, some other uh, retailers as well and then just you can just use those with your jigs you know one eighth ounce one sixteenth ounce whatever size you have and whatever plastic you have and you can go out and catch fish in a relatively easy fashion it's a great lure for covering water and if you just want to go out there and catch a fish there aren't many other lures that can do it as well so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something about how to fish this very simple, very effective lure. And uh, thank you for watching. And you know, if you like what you see out here, 
and subscribe to the channel. New videos every week. Hit that notification bell. We're about to turn up out here, catch some fish. I know you want to see it, and I know I want to do it. Peace.